We're going to have eight exercises and it's going to be three rounds. So we're going to end up doing about, I think it's 20 minutes in total um, with kind of the time on and off. So I'll just have to adjust the camera so you can kind of see what we're doing. Let me know if you don't have a very good view or if you can't see much, but that should be okay. So the first one is going to be, I'm going to amend it slightly to the plan, just because we've done quite a lot of kind of a forward lunge and twist today with the overhead band. So this one, we're simply just going to do a reverse lunge. So a step back, going down. So you want a nice 90 degree angle, ideally from the knee to your foot, and just letting that back knee travel down, but not quite hitting the mat. It's going to just be a reverse lunge, then step it up, and then just alternating legs. So it's going to be all nice and steady, nice controlled movements, pushing up through the heel on that front foot. And again, just keeping that angle 90 degrees at the front there. Then the next exercise is going to be a lechners. So again, you're going to be lying down on your mats. You're going to start off with your hands and feet up above the air, up above you in the air. So a full alechna is going to be two arms, two legs, out to reach the floor together hovering just above the floor and keeping that lower back pinned in. Again, you can regress that by doing two arms and one legs at a time, or alternate arms and legs. And then again, the other regression, if you really do struggle with those, is having your hands down by the side and just doing heel kicks or heel taps. Okay. The next one, oh, you can stay on the mat for the next one, is a glute bridge. So again, Lying on your back, pulling your heels up towards your bum, arms across your chest, and then pushing up through your heels, making sure that you lift those glutes up. Again, the obvious kind of progressions and regressions are, if you want, you can kind of have your feet slightly wider apart, give yourself a wider base, or arms down by your side. Or if you want, you can pull your toes up off the floor to make it slightly more difficult. Or again, lifting one leg off the floor and just keeping that line in line with your other knee. Okay. The next one, again, on the mat, so we're doing a lot of sitting this time, which is great, is gonna be the, the V-sit. So you're gonna sit yourself upright with your hands just behind your bum, nice straight back, then you're just gonna extend it out and then crunch up. Trying to keep your feet off the floor at all times. It's a nice control movement, just try and keep your back nice and straight as you go and crunch it up. Then we're going to do like a slow burpee. So the variation, I'll just move my mat slightly. So the variation on this is plant your hands down, feet back, and then standing up. So we're not adding the jumping. Okay, now I know some people live in an upstairs flat, so rather than jumping back, you can even just do step back and then up. So again, that's your call if you want to do just a single step back, or if you can, making it slightly more dynamic, just to jump back and jump back in it and jump back again. That's number five. Number six is where you might need a stool or a chair. So it's the Bulgarian split squat. So again, just placing one foot behind you and one foot out in front. Then it's all again, it's all just a downwards trap motion. So traveling down and up again. And just kind of alternating that arm so an exaggerated running movement. When we're doing these, try and do like five on one leg before you swap over and do five on the other. Okay, so that's number six. I'll just move that out of the way. Number seven is into a high plank with a shoulder tap. So I'll show you from the side on. It should be in a nice high plank with your elbows and wrists below your shoulders, feet about hip width apart, then just shoulder tap. And so you want to keep your back nice and straight and try and evolve, evolve, kind of avoid too much wobbling from side to side as you do it. Again, there's an obvious progressions where you can go from the knees if you want to, if you're not quite comfortable. So going from the knees, again, keep your feet off the floor, nice straight back, and just try those. Or again, if you've got like a ledge or something, for example, even going into kind of a plank like that and just touching there, and then you've got less pressure on your wrists. So sometimes that's the issue kind of with that upper body strength or your wrists. 
Stephen, what was the alternative for the Bulgarian split if they haven't got a chair? So if you haven't got a chair for a Bulgarian split squat, what I would just do is do like a deep, sorry, a kind of just holding a deep squat for kind of 10 seconds at a time and then quickly back up and then go into a deep squat. So just to kind of still engage your glutes, still work on those, but if you haven't got a chair or a stool or something you can step back onto, that's a good alternative and it'll still kind of fatigue you as you hold that for up to 10 seconds. Thanks. And then number eight is mountain climbers. Again, these are slow and controlled. So again, into a high plank position, back nice and straight, bringing your knees up in between your arms. And again, if you're not confident or if you've got a bad shoulder or you've got upper body issue like strength or your wrists are bad, again, even if you're resting on here, keep your back nice and straight and bringing your knees up. That's just putting less pressure on all those joints. So hopefully you can see all those. I didn't hear Alan tell me otherwise, so you might not have been able to see my face, but you got the important bit. Um, so I have got the timer here. So if everyone's ready to go. Just one last thing, Stephen, anybody who's got any shoulder problems, if you, where there's an, uh, the, the planks, if you're unable to do those, then you can do glutes, the glute bridge with those as well, or you can do bicycle crunches, which I know you're familiar with. So just for everyone who isn't necessarily familiar or wants to recap, bicycle crunches, lying down again, lower back pinned at the ground at all times, kind of fingertips just behind your ears, feet off the floor and just really controlled. So not about speed, but really stretch that leg out as you bring the other one up. So again, if you want to throw one of those in as an alternative to having any kind of upper body work, that's absolutely fine. Thank you, that was a well reminded Alan. So the important bit we're gonna do, the first round is gonna be 30 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. Second round gets a bit more difficult, we do 40 seconds on, but we get 20 seconds rest. And the last round we're back down to 30 seconds on and 15 seconds rest. So we're gonna work our way up and then come back down on the other side. So up first, we've got the uh, reverse lunge. So is everyone ready? I think so, I'll just check. Now oh, everyone's getting up off the mat. Right, I think that's about everyone ready. So I'm hoping you'll be able to hear this buzzer as it goes off. But we're gonna go in three, two, one. And again, this isn't about speed, it's about a nice controlled steady movement and making sure that you're motion is that kind of traveling down without that knee touching the mat behind you. Okay, so we've got 15 seconds rest. And then up next, we're gonna be on our mats. So we're gonna do a Lechner's next. So again, you've got all your variations. So you've got two hands, two legs. Two hands, one leg, off we go. It's really good, everyone. Excellent, so the third exercise, you can stay on your mats. We're gonna go into a glute bridge. Again, with all the regular variations. So starting off with your heels tucked in towards you, boom. And up you go. Okay, and the fourth one is a V-sit. So again, just sitting nice straight back, 
Hands supporting yourself just behind where your bum or your hips are. Gonna bend your elbows. And off we go. And just keeping that nice and extended out at the legs, keeping those maybe an inch or two inches off the floor. Oh, well done. Number five is a slow burpee. So again, this can be as dynamic or as non-dynamic as it needs to be, depending on what you choose. that window open. Uh, so then we've got the Bulgarian split squat or again you can just do a squat hold if needs be. And again just doing these in sets of five so five on your left leg and then five onto the right. Oh. Right, up next, the plank with shoulder taps, or again, if you want, you can do a glute bridge, or you can do uh, bicycle crunches, if you're not confident with these and your upper body. Temporary lost Suzanne as the cat sabotaged the camera. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. You want to keep your back nice and straight for those, which I realised I wasn't doing all the time there. And then mountain climbers. So again, keep your back nice and straight where possible. And again, there's variations on these if you need, but just nice controlled movements. I think I got a fabulous picture of Andrew and Suzanne's cats at the same time there. It'd be a nice one for the, for the books. There we go. So that's one round done. So back to the start, we're going to do reverse lunges. Again, you want to grab a drink, but off we go, 40 seconds this time, so slightly longer, but you get a longer break and a longer rest as well in between each exercise. I'm not convinced that that excuse there's one steward over. <laughs> not, that was not a smile when you said 40 seconds. So at least I don't have to keep time or keep track of the seconds, it all does it automatically. Well done, everyone. They're doing really well. Oh, maybe lost my balance. Oh, right, number two, Alekna's. So back up to the mats. Lower back pinned in before we get going.
really concentrate on the technique guys as you're doing this i mean the, the pace is it's not the, the important thing is not the pace it's the technique it's getting the, the exercises right and with this one you want to keep your back pinned to the ground so keep your lower back pinned down really good techniques So, uh, glute bridge up next. So stay on your mats, heels brought in towards your bone, hands across your chest. And off we go. Good thing your watch had stopped. No, oh, someone. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I think I was getting a, someone tried to ring me. So <laughs> I'll pause it there. We'll have another five seconds to make sure everyone gets a decent rest. Sorry, that was my uh, my phone there. So we've still got about eight seconds of rest left. Sorry about that, guys. But up next is the V-sit. Right, off we go. Got ten, not even ten seconds left. There we go. I don't know what, why it's not doing this anymore, but I'll keep you right. So you got about fifteen seconds left. And up next is slow burpees. Going in three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds to go. And we're done. I'll see it's back to working again. So up next is the split squat. Or again, if you can just do a deep squat and squat hold, that's absolutely fine. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Take a break as well. This is about doing the pace that you're comfortable with. And sometimes we we'll do we we'll change between the exercises quite quickly. If you get lightheaded, just stop for a second, have a seat, have a drink of water. Ten seconds. Really well done, everyone. Well done. So up next we've got the high plank with the shoulder tap. And again, there's lots of variations. Again, if you want to do it against this, something like this, you've got like a bench or a chair or a table, put a lot less pressure on your upper body and your shoulders. 
Off we go. And there we go. Again, worry it wasn't uh, stopping us there. So up next is mountain climbers. And again, these should all be nice and slow and controlled. And again, going in three, two, one. Again, if you need to stop, give your shoulders a bit of a rotate, that's absolutely fine. There we go. So, into the last round of exercises. So, it's 30 seconds of effort for everyone. Starting with a reverse lunge. Grab a drink if you need, and join back in when you can. Off we go. Five seconds to go. There we go. Last time through for our lecturers. So again, line on your mat and making sure your lower back's always pinned in. If it starts to lift off, stop there. Don't go any further. Off we go. Up next is the glute bridge. This is exercise number three. What's the chance of everybody doing this one one-legged? And I'll get a nice picture. Looking good there, just you Pankash, get that leg up. Excellent, perfect, thank you. I think I caught the end of your toes there, Christian. <laughs> oh, well done. So it's V-sit next. Ah. I like this middle section where we can just sit on the mat for a little while, but it's the end, it's the killer. You put these together, Stephen. You can plan that yourself. You can get a nice run of sitting down ones. I need to space them out next time. Ten seconds left. Well done, so halfway through this last set, burpees next. It's only two minutes of effort and we've got a minute to rest to space it all out.
Last five seconds. And we're done. So the Bulgarian split squat. Other than three, two, one. Three, two, one, well done. Up to the high plank with the shoulder taps. Again, we've only got 30 seconds on this one. Off we go. Halfway. <sighs> okay, and then last exercise, slow and controlled mountain climbers. Going in three, two, one. Well done, everyone. You're nearing the end. Ten seconds. Oh. Well done, everyone. You are all unmuted. So no swearing. You hear the cheers and whoops from here on. <laughs> yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> Brilliant effort, everybody. That was Stephen. Stephen does enjoy his finisher, and you can tell you can tell that they all enjoy doing it as well, Stephen. I know. If oh. you want to give us a smile at the camera, I will get a photograph because I know John is very keen that he, this will be his evidence or his bingo card. <laughs> yeah, his absolutely. Well, that's not the only reason you've turned up, though, John. <laughs> Um, well, well I, I would like to give the pay huge compliments to whoever was behind setting up those bingo cards. I, I found them very, it gives me a lot of enthusiasm to get out. Well, you've got two of them on the call here because Stuart and Suzanne helped set them up. Yes, thank you, guys. Well, well, that, so, give us a smile. Anyway, get in front of your cameras, everybody, and I will take a photograph and then I will share that with you all. And you can use that as your bingo card evidence. <laughs> Oh, I nearly didn't get you there, David. Real, there you go, that's fab. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Well, well done to Thank all you. of you, because some of them exercises are quite challenging. Um, and it's really important that you only do what you're able to do. And where you do start to struggle with some of them, we find alternatives, so just take a step back, or you just have a drink of water and uh, <laughs> just take a rest. But uh, well done, because you all uh, put everything into that tonight. Bye-bye. Bye, you've been up to Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye